Hey there folks and welcome to the Buckshot Beginning to End video. I'm finally trying to get this thing wrapped up and this is the end. This is where we put it together. Rachel and I have already been down to the range and uh, just as a formality you guys have seen me shoot these triple alt loads before. We've got some awesome performing triple alt loads. But I stumbled onto something down here at the range this last time and it was purely accidental. I'll tell you that right up front. Because uh, whenever Rachel and I go down to the range nowadays, when we get a chance to, we try to get just as much accomplished as we possibly can for y'all. And uh, sometimes I make mistakes and I end up grabbing the wrong sack or something like that or wrong bag. Uh, I'll give you an idea. See. I don't know how many rounds in there of all, of all kinds of, of different videos different pieces or, or different uh, things to demonstrate for you guys that's just one bag that's how far behind we are uh, but uh, because of the hot weather I just can't get out in it it's uh, it's a health issue and uh, so all that being said let's uh, let's get into the loading part of this video Like I said before in this beginning to end video, we just I just happened to uh, put together triple alt buck. It's really popular. A lot of folks use it, and it's one of my favorite pellet sizes. And so uh, what actually ended up happening down here at the range is that I had grabbed a test bag that, uh, that wasn't what I had intended to take down there, but had the right stuff in it. See what I'm saying? It, uh, it had triple alt rounds in it. There were test rounds. It was rounds that I had put together to compare long shot powder with pro reach powder. I had never loaded any triple alt or quads with the pro reach powder. So I had put those together to compare them to see how they would work out. Well, I had a, a whole other thing set up with all of the tried and true stuff that I had tested over the years in a, in a different box. See what I'm saying? I had the wrong box with the right stuff in it. So while we were down there, it never really hit me in the head while we were down there putting this stuff together that I had the test rounds with the Pro Reach test rounds against the long shot test rounds. And what ended up happening is the Pro Reach didn't perform well, pushing the, uh, the triple alts. And you're going to see that. It, it dawned on me after it was over with, I was when I was editing this video segments up, and was mulling over it wasn't making any sense what was I I couldn't figure out what was I doing with pro reach in the uh, in this particular video and then it dawned on me that I had grabbed the wrong stuff but we're going to get to prove a couple of points here to show you that uh, as much as my Stoger loves these triple alt reloads and as well as they perform in it you get the wrong powder combination mixed in there and it just it'll throw the, the works completely go to pieces and it just doesn't work well we're gonna learn this together you're gonna see this down here whenever we go to demonstrate the stuff at the range I'm just gonna incorporate in I just left it alone I said that would be a great lesson for folks to see just the difference that a powder can make the ballistics were good velocities were great and all that stuff but my Stoger just did not like that combination and so once again, with all that being said, the prologue hopefully is over now, and uh, let's get a couple of these things put together. Okay, the first round that you're going to see me demonstrate down here, we're, um, we're still shooting at 45 yards, is a brand new Fiocchi Clear Primed from Ballistic Products. I've got my Lee tabletop powder dispenser set up here to throw 28 and a half grains of long shot because 28 and a half grains, we use it. 80% of the time, this is the powder charge that we use in both two and three quarter inch and three inch buckshot loads of so many different configurations. That seems to be kind of the magic number. But uh, brand new primed, this is 616. This is not the Magnum Prime, 616. I have shot the Magnum Prime with equal performance. 27 grains is what I use in the Magnum Prime. Have used up to 27 and a half. But 27 seems to work out just a little bit better for me if you got the Fiocchi Magnum Prime hulls with this 10 pellet triple all load. So we need, uh, we're going to get 28 and a half grains, a long shot. 
Now this is old school. This goes way back. The uh, Ballistic Products X12X gas seal. Excellent gas seal. It, down here at the range, I'm using the uh, Ballistic Products quarter inch fiber wides. Okay, I just happen to have some. So, uh, I'm using these. What am I talking about? Uh, if you don't have the, uh, the quarter inch wads to go over your X12X seal, you can take the half inch FC12, fiber cushion 12, and just tear it in half right down the middle and make two quarter inch. Now you got two of them. Works equally well in my experience. X12X seal over our 28 and a half a long shot. Down on top of our powder and this is exactly what I shot at the range so this is exactly what I'm showing you right now. The quarter inch fiber wad from BP. And folks, I had a 7 mil Mylar route on the one that I shot down at the range, but I have shot 2 mil, 3 mil, 4 mil, and 7 mil in these rounds, and they work equally well with the triple off. You got to stay with the thinner stuff if you load into quads, because it'll crowd it a little bit too much and dimple the hole a little bit too bad, but that's for a different time. But here in the, uh, these are the, these are the four mil from uh, three four mil from Ballistic Products. I got a bunch of these here. Okay. Now, I, I roll crimp these rounds and I star crimp them, or just regular standard crimp. They work equally well. Now, I believe the one I fired down at the uh, at the range was roll crimp. So that being the case, right here, see, catch me. You see how well I rehearse for all this stuff. These pre-cut squares from Ballistic Products are just a little bit long if you're going to roll crimp it. If you're going to fold crimp it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's right at the top. It'll roll it all in there, and it works, uh, works just fine. But if we're going to roll crimp it, i got to trim about a quarter of an inch off of these little squares. I just get a pair of medics scissors and just eyeball it. I've got to take about a quarter of an inch off. Just like that. This is if we're going to roll crimp it, okay? Standard crimp, you don't have to deal with this. It's an unnecessary step. Now, you see when we get them down in here with the light, hopefully you can see that mylar wrap comes to right about here should be right at the top of the shot column. I've got 10 of Marty's triple alts right here. This was the first shot. They'll only stack in here by twos. That's the only way they'll go in here. Six, eight, ten. See where the shot column is? Okay, Ballistic Products Original. That's the buffer in the in the blue can. The 47 works equally well. When I first got supplied from Ballistic Products years and years and years ago, I didn't know what original buffer was. I was uh, first buffer that I was using was number 47, and it worked absolutely awesome with all of my loads. Then when I saw that they had the original. Only difference I could tell is, you know, the, the 47's got little blue and red flake all embedded in it. That was the only difference that I could that I could see. Clear segmented overshot card to three quarter inch bingo marker works equally well. Equally well. I've got the uh, <laughs> my machinist buddy roll crimp tool in here. All the other roll crimp tools that I work that I use work equally well. This just fits my needs about the best of all of them. Uh, it just does a great job.
It's all a matter of personal preference. I've got stuff in the box that's been roll crimped by every tool that I've got. And it works great. So there's a lot of good stuff out there is what I'm saying. Lock a dream. This is one of my favorite of all times, and boy, does it perform well out of my Stoker. Y'all watch this. You, uh, you wouldn't believe that it was just in the 80s, but it takes so much to get set up and so long to get set up. Humidity is probably 80%. Being at 85 degrees and 80% humidity, it still gets pretty hot, and it takes me and Rachel a while to get set up down here at the range. But anyway, in this beginning to end, we were loading up triple alt, and uh, all this triple alt, this triple alt here, is uh, is polished. And at this configuration, we've got 28 and a half grains of long shot, and a brand new Fiocchi primed clear hull, X12X seal, one quarter inch fiber cushion wad, and we got 10 36 caliber pellets that have been run into tumbler, they're just polished. That's it. That's only they're not treated with anything else, just polished. We've got a seven mil mylar wrap and a beautiful roll crimp. The next shot, we've got 26 grains of Pro Reach. This is a new primed Shadite hull from Ballistic Products. 26 of Pro Reach. The uh, the triple all these are out of the Lee mold. These are out of Marty's mold. This is out of the Lee mold. Ten pellets 7 mil mile R route and precision spherical buffer in the second shot. We have original buffer. I didn't know if I'd mention that in the first shot. Precision spherical in the second shot. All right, and we're going to shoot a couple of uh, two and three quarter inch for you guys. Okay, folks, what have we got in it, Rachel? Ten. Okay. We're at 45 yards. And so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Five 36 caliber right there. All of these, all nine of those would have been in the animal. 36 caliber ball. That's why I like those rounds. 37 cal, the quad does just as good. Flies about the same out of my Stoger. And uh, this is out of the light full kicks, folks. I've heard from several subs that said they were getting really good performance, especially with the bigger pellets out of the light full from kicks, which Mike, mine mic'd out to, to 695. Uh, so that's uh, what I'm shooting out of today. All right. That was using the gas seal and the flex uh, and the quarter inch fiber wide. Let's shoot the one that's got the same data with the flex seal. Eleven ninety-six is what we get on the chronograph, folks. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's so dark under this canopy right now, under this cloud cover, the cameras can't see the chronograph. All right. So, well, dang, folks, it it usually don't do that. It scattered the crap out of those. It really scattered them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're all 10 there. It would have been several, probably enough on target to kill him, but it usually patterns way better than that. Uh, but the uh, you see that first configuration worked really good. This one, it scattered them just a little bit. All right, let's check the, uh, the two and three quarter inch. Will do, Paul, I appreciate it. That looks like that's gonna help us get through this anyway. It's like a, just a little shining spot down there on the bottom. <laughs> Okay, is it messing anything up? Okay. It just looks like a it just looks like there's something just sitting there. <laughs> Once fired three inch uh Fiocchi hull that's been cut back to a two and three quarter inch. Six one six Fiocchi primer, twenty-six grains of Pro Reach, 
and eight pellets of 36 caliber triple alt, just polished. Roll crimped, covered in ballistic products original. Can't tell if that closed or got my finger. There ain't, there's not one anywhere in here. It threw those everywhere. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the paper from top to bottom. Uh, other one hit right there. It scattered those. I wouldn't shoot that. It scattered those everywhere. I don't know why, but it did. Following up with this, I got a two and three quarter inch here. Brand new Rio primed from Ballistic Products two and three quarter inch hull. I've got 10 pellets in here of 35 caliber, 35 caliber, triple alt, and uh, which is oh, 1.5 ounces of lead payload weight here, 1.4, 1.5, and uh, we got 28 grains of long shot in it, and uh, it's all covered in Ballistic Products Original, beautiful roll crimp. We're going to shoot that one as our, for our last shot. All right, here we go. 35 caliber, 10 pellets. 1202. And all this out of the light full. There's first my first session with the light full with these bigger pellets, folks. I normally get a little bit better performance. See the difference in the 35 caliber and the 36. Well, have we got all 10 here? Yep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are 35 caliber ball. Looks like we got 9 that I can cover with my hands. 9 35 caliber at 45 yards. I do have some more of those. I'm going to dedicate an entire video just to the new 35 caliber. You've heard me mention how much I like them. This is why, if you really like a tight pattern, several of the guys, if you ain't aiming that like a rifle, even out to uh, 50 or 60 yards, all that would be on target. Most all those would be on the animal at 100 meters. But I know what everybody is thinking, oh my God, Wade, how did you put together that 10 pellet, two and three quarter inch round? I knew, I knew y'all were gonna be uh, uh, busting at the seams to know how I did that. So, uh, yeah, let's wait 10 or 15 minutes. Nah, let's do it right now. I'll hold righty then. Give you, I had already, I'd loaded up one the other evening. This one has 27 and a half of long shot. Works great. Works great. Um, 28, 27 and a half, 28 and 28 and a half. All worked great in this round right here. What I'm going to put together for you today will be the 28 and a half. Um, but like I said, try that one. Try 27 and a half. Try 28. Try 28 and a half. Right in that range. It is uh, 10 pellets of 35 cal is about 1.4 ounces of lead payload weight in the 35 cal. 10 pellets. That's right. That's a brand new Rio. Two and three quarter inch. Let me see. I thought I had another one laying here somewhere. Yep. There we go. Brand new primed Rio. Brand new primed Shadite would work equally well. Brand new primed Fioki. See what I'm saying? Two and a quarter inch now. We're talking about two and a quarter inch. Will all work equally well with this load. I'm going to show you right here. Like I said, we can't video everything we do down there because it, it can take an hour to set up in this heat. You saw what I, uh, you see what I look like just after setting up and all that down there. It's, it's crazy out here in this heat. So anyway... I've got the Lee tabletop set up to throw 28 and a half of long shot. And like I've been harping on with the 35 cal, we don't have to take the pedals off the CB1138. Just drop it straight on in here. Seat it down on top of our powder.
getting 10 pellets of 35 cal. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get the pea soup. I've shot everything from just polished, from the just polished out of the tumbler, powder coated. This was polished before I powder coated it. So I'm saying it powder coated up. Well, you could say that powder coated up awful ugly. I think it's beautiful. Swamp green. Two. See, two pellets drop straight down in here. Ain't got to cut the petals off. It fits perfect. It's a perfect fit in this round. That's what is one of the, the contributing factor or the contributing factor of why it patterns so uniform and so tight even at uh, extended ranges. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Perfect. I'll roll crump them. Why do I like to roll crump them? Is there a reason? Yes, there is a reason why I like to roll crump them. I'm putting the Ballistic Products Original. That's the blue can. And uh, the reason that I like to roll crimp, I have more control over the crimp. I can control the pressure. You, you put it in your, your press and star crimp or regular fold crimp, it'll work just fine. But sometimes it'll really make it dimple out. Sometimes it'll make it dimple out bad enough to where it don't want to cycle in your gun, especially pumps and autoloaders. But whenever I roll crimp this thing, I have a lot of, I have total control over how much pressure I put down on this roll crimp and it doesn't dimple the holes out. I can see the light coming through the back. I can see the light coming through the back of the hole. And I can see. I can see the pellet starting to shift as I put the pressure on the uh, on the roll crimp on the, the press right here. If you can see through your uh, round, that's why I get this lamp back here behind my press. When I lean over to the side with the holes, I can see through them. I can see the pellets. And when I start putting pressure down on this overshot card here, you can see your pellets whenever they start compressing against one another. They'll start to shift. As soon as I see those babies start to shift, I stop. No doubt, there is no dimpling. See that in the light? There is no dimpling whatsoever on this round. You know it's going to load like a dream. Miracle Nail from the dollar store? Yes, even on roll crimp rounds. I put it around the perimeter. It keeps the buffer in. And moisture out. That's how we put together this awesome performing two and three quarter inch 10 pellet 35 cal round 27 and a half well you may even want to start we um let's see where did i start with these things i think i think that i started at 27 27 27 and a half 28 28 and a half and they were phenomenal super tight some may even say it's a little, little bit too tight but you'll notice that the uh, Roger Adkins will also tell you with the uh, with this same type of load with the 14 pellets of 33 caliber double alt we get the same kind of performance extremely tight patterns at extended ranges it has to do with how symmetrical these pellets fit in the rounds that's what I believe anyway the way they fit the the less the pellets have to come in contact with each other Whenever they fly to this thing, they're round, they stay on target even a long way down there. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all enjoyed this beginning to end video. It's been, a, it's took me several months and all that stuff to finally get it all put together for you guys. And I believe part two is gonna wrap it up and we're trying to keep the videos from being so blame long and all that other stuff. So anyway, until next time, this is Wade Rush, host of the Bubble Roundtree Outdoors channel and we'll see y'all out there. Bye-bye.